drama. It put the real into reality TV. With 2020 hit us like a brick. Antigone from Love Island liked one of my TikToks. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And I didn't really plan this video. I was originally gonna do a vlog, but your boy had to go to A&E. Oh, oh, a call an ambulance! Before we get properly into the video, subscribe down below, follow my Instagram, one subscribe equals one prayer. Basically what happened, I was getting like the stone out of an avocado. Millennial! And I went like that. <laughs> So, as you've probably seen from the title, we are ranking the Love Island seasons. This is only the UK seasons because I'm not wasting my time watching anything but the original. I did watch the Australian one when it was airing in lockdown. So, liar! I am a massive Love Island fan, reality TV fan, and I just love reality TV. So, I thought, let's make this video. So, the ranks are... Iconic, self-explanatory. Then we've got Love It, it's good. Then we've got Mediocre, like, could be better, could be worse. We've got Maybe Not, like, maybe maybe I'll skip this one this year. Then we've got Ooh, Tomato, Tomato. We're gonna go back all the way to 2015. The, th the season that started this whole thing off. It is season one, obviously. I didn't watch it when it originally came out because I was literally 10 11 and that's what i look like do you think that was watching love island no the first two seasons were on netflix but season one is gonna go into love it and it was wild like this was back when tv like reality tv didn't have as many like limitations it put the real into reality tv like you could tell these were just real people moving on with season two season two this this is one of my favourite seasons. Like this, you already know this going into Iconic. A lot happened in the season. We had like a lot of characters. We had Katie. And when Katie spilt wine on that girl's leg. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? No, that wine your leg. No. Shut up, you dick. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 And then we had Sophie and Katie. They were the first and only bisexual couple on Love Island. Love Island's really gone backward. It's just an iconic season. Then we have season three. Season three holds a special place in my heart. It really does. Um, it was the first time I properly, properly, properly watched Love Island. I, I think it's a really strong season. And when I watch clips of Love Island back, so like, if I want to watch a, a drama filled thing, I'll watch clips of Love Island on YouTube, and a lot of the clips are from season three because it's such a good season. And it's going into iconic. You you know how it be like it is a good season. Like, after th season three, obviously we have season four. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick maths. Season four, I think, was the turning point in Love Island because Love Island, for the first three seasons, of you could tell it had a smaller budget. It wasn't as well known, like not everybody was watching it. So they could get away with more stuff. Season four really just like mirrored it down, a bit more family friendly. I'd say the only Islander that was good was Georgia Steele. I'm gonna put it in mediocre. I, I don't remember much in this season. We have season five. Season five was a really good season. I loved the season. It had a slow start. I'm g gonna give you that. But then once it picked up, once we had the bombshell, it's the best bombshell, Maura Higgins. <laughs> and then her like one-liners. Does he I, love I, you? Hey, why are you asking her that? He doesn't. We had the bit when Michael walked out with Joanna and not didn't stick with Amber. Drama. But this season was good. I think it was only good um, closer to the end with like the big personalities. Um, and we had Anna going, two days! You tried to tell me today that you like could have a goal. Two days! season was only good because of the big personalities and if it didn't have that it would have been a bit lackluster as it was in the beginning because when I 
first started watching this season, I was like, oh, I don't know. But I'm going to put it into love it because after that slow start, it really picked up. It was like this. 2020 hit us like a brick. Season six. Um, the real problem of 2020 wasn't the virus. It was season six of Love Island. The only good thing to come out of this Love Island was the Casa Moore when Shauna said, Congrats, hon. Um, this is going in, boo, tomato, tomato, tomatoes. Season seven, this was last year, 2021. I watched this all, I watched it all. I even watched the best bits and the after sun. I was invested in this season. But we had the icons, Faye Winter. We have Jake going, you're my girlfriend. We have Chloe Burrows, who I think is one of the best bombshells we've had. So this is going to iconic. We have season eight. Season eight is obviously still going on. We're, I think we're over halfway through, that's a guess. Um, we've had Casseramol and Casseramol was spicy. I'm really enjoying this season. It was a very slow start, but now we're having drama. We have Ekin Sue. Antigone from Love Island liked one of my TikToks. I, I, I'm gassed. The woman was too stunned to speak. But this is going into Love It. So here is the final tier list. I think it's like it's pretty accurate it's pretty true to how i feel i hope you have enjoyed this video i know it's been a bit different it was like a tinsy bit last minute because obviously me finger um but i love love island make sure you subscribe down below and follow me on instagram thank you for all the subscribers recently because um in the past week week and a bit I've gained like 31 subscribers. I was not expecting that. Goodbye. <laughs>